Crudo. Crudo all day. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Binia coming at you from super deep, hot South Albania with my boy Urjal. Today we are pumped because we are finally getting to the seaside. We are driving one hour from Jiracaste over to Saranda, which is the southernmost city. It is beautiful. It is located on the water, so there's lots of beaches, a lot of castles, mussels, a lot of islands, and more beaches. And more beaches and a great nightlife. Great nightlife, yeah. I know, I heard so many good things. So what are we doing right now, where are we going? Now we're going to the magical blue eye, which is a natural source of water. And there we are going to, to see how, how this magical source comes from a bow of 50 meters up. It's magic. And after that we are going to Bougainville Bay, one of the best resorts of all day and not on the Saranda. In Saranda of course is the best but is the best resort of Albania. And then after that we're going for dinner to eat some seafood. I'm pumped, I'm excited. Are you guys ready? Let's go to Saranda. Let's do this. After about a 40 minute drive we've arrived to the Blue Eye. We turned off the road and now we have three more kilometers on a dirt path and we'll be there. Rough road, bring a 4x4, SUV always. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's difficult with a normal car, so you need uh, off-road to go faster. Or if you take a normal car, you have to drive very slowly. Hiking here is impossible because a lot of uh, dirty air. Okay guys, we are here. Three kilometers on a super rough road with lots of traffic, lots of people here. Lots of people here. Oh my God, and they have a bar right now? Oh wow, look at that bar, Rakia time. Wow. 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 That is... That's nothing. This is not it. It's not, over here. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This is just like part of it. It's a stream it's a coming through. It, yeah. Dude, the water looks so refreshing. This is a super touristic hotspot, huh? Yeah, the good thing here is like it looks like a jungle. So you can see no investment on the beton, on cement here. So everything is very natural. Yeah. So this is it. This is Blue Eye. As you can see right here, a lot of girls in the water. And over here we have a bunch of guys just diving off this wooden plank. So they're diving off into the main spot. And this guy's gonna try from there. It's not a good spot to do it, bro. Do it, do it. So that's basically it. Come, the water's cold. Yeah, it's the, very cold, I'm gonna try. The water's like ice cold. Ice cold, freezing. Freezing. Okay, here we go, here's another guy coming. Still strong enough because many do doesn't dare to try. If you want to get a better view, come up to the top and you can watch these guys go non-stop just diving over and over and over. Be careful if you're going to do it because those like planks are like rusty and, and they're metal when they're super rusty. Because this place is not for diving, in fact it's just for as a natural site. But anyhow, people are not suspecting this and uh, they are enjoying. That's it guys, we're gonna go over now to the bar area because it looks beautiful and we're gonna check it out. See the stream there. This whole area is just gorgeous. Natural, huh? Natural. I love this, they haven't fixed this at all. It's just like a pure jungle. They made a path and a little bridge here to go over whatever little stream area is going under here. So that was a blue eye. All the water that comes from, from blue eye has created a lake here and the water looks so, so amazing, all blue here. There is a restaurant, so we have allowed here two restaurants, but they have to be created all in wood. We don't allow the cement here, so to keep the nature all bio. So here people can enjoy, can have some free time, can sit for a coffee, can enjoy this relaxing view. So yeah, so this is like a, you know, a big terrace right here, all open air. Over there it's almost like a, almost like a little bungalow on the water, right? Yeah. Like yeah. A, and then over here to the right, so you can see, that's Blue Eye. The water from Blue Eye goes straight out there. Incredible, super beautiful, very green, lush. Love it. Next time I'm going to Albania in summer, I bring my family and I bring them right here. Now let's go to Saranda. Yeah, man, 20 minutes, let's go. <laughs> so this road is a mountainous road. As you can see over here, I'm guessing there's a river down there. Yeah, it's the Pistrica River. Pistrica River. Yeah, and we just started, you remember Alma told us we just started a rafting in this river that goes until the, the sea. 
What? Rafting, yeah. From here to the sea? Yeah. Southern Albania in August. You're gonna have a lot of traffic. He was telling me sometimes, something takes 20 minutes, take three hours to go to the traffic because you have these like issues right here. And so yeah, until we get to the sea, it's gonna be like this. Lots of beautiful mountains, really sunny. Still very green. I thought it would be more dry, but it's still green. Very lush. David, we are arriving to the sea. You can see Yonian Sea in front of us. So beautiful, man. Wow, there it is. Woo! So there's Saranda. As you can see, lots of apartment buildings. It's like a super hilly town, right? Yeah, exactly. So super hilly, yeah. lots of apartments. We've got some restaurants, retail on the bottom, but mainly apartments. Over there to the left, we have the sea. To the right, just more hill, more buildings. A lot of apartments. Here are more apartments than people. Yeah? Yeah. For oh, the summer, right? Yeah, we have arrived at Bougainville Bay, the best resort of Saranda. And this is Bougainville Bay, the best resort in Saranda, right on the sea. I'm excited to go to my room. Dude, thank you. You're the man, dude. And as soon as you walk into this hotel, you can tell it's like sort of like Art Deco, like Miami. It's called the Beach Art Hotel and Resort, Bougainville Bay. Look at this. So we have pink couches. I love this. It's like. Twisting columns, right? Pretty nice. You said 122 rooms, right? Yeah, yeah. 122, 122 rooms. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I love this hotel. And uh, some swimming pools. So they have five swimming pools. Five? Yeah. So we are staying 309, 307 with the sea view, man. It's amazing. All right, guys. So we are on the third floor. Like you said, the lobby is actually on the fourth floor. So we went down a level, and in the staircase, you can see you have a view of the pool. The sea, the building, it's just amazing. This is gonna be great. Can't wait to see my room. And this is my room, number 307. As you can see, beautiful, clean, modern, artsy. Love this. Got two twin beds, have a chair here, another chair here, place so I can set up, you know, to work. And then this is the view. Wow, what a view. Look at this. The pool, the sea, the beach. Incredible. People out there on jet skis, this is gonna be so much fun. And then over here, let's see the bathroom. Okay, turn the lights, nice. Oh, very, very nice. This is super sick. Love it. Love the marble. <gasps> Whoa, look at this toilet with the lights. This is an artsy hotel for sure. All the lights, super clean, minimalistic. The, this is so nice. Okay, guys. Let's go explore more of the hotel and then go to dinner. Hey David, we are going to a restaurant next to the seaside to the village of Xamil, which is 20 minutes from Saranda. I like that place because sunset there is, is uh, it's no word to describe, man. You'll see it. As you can see, lots of traffic coming into Saranda. So the way it works here is that most people in Saranda go down to the very bottom, right? Yeah, they go to Xamil where we are going now, but we are doing the back road, so we are going in an empty road, actually. Yeah, because now they're coming back, so we're going reverse, right? Reverse, right. One thing you have to know is that Saranda is a mountainous, cliffy town. There's like one main street, and all you see is building after building after building, so many condos, it's amazing. And once you exit the town, now we have like a valley to the left, we have a hill to the right, and that goes to the sea. So it's like 20 minutes, really short drive. Yeah, 20 minutes will be in Xamil, the most favorite part for every every Albanian who comes in Saranda because the sea is so clear, you feel like you are in uh, in Maldives. And over here to the left, we have Butrit Lake. Really amazing. The water goes out every 12 hours to the sea. It comes back in, so it goes in and out, in and out. And this is where the mussel farms are. Tomorrow for lunch, we're going to a mussel farm. We just made it to Samil, and over there to the right, you can see the island of Corfu, and that is Greece, and it looks like it's on fire. They must have like a little, a little fire going on somewhere there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is the town, and once we pass all this, we'll get to the main area, right? Yep, yep, there, there is the center. This is like, it was a village in fact, but now because the tourism is growing up in Albania every year, they built a lot, a lot of new buildings new houses coming up and they, they want to rent. We made it. Great. Yep. So this is restaurant Abiori. This place is incredible. Look at this. The terrace is beautiful, but the view, the view overlooking the sea. They have a beach there. 
They have an incredible terrace on top of rocks. Yeah, I mean, this is like stunning. I've never seen this before. I've been to so many places in Greece, all over the Adriatic Sea, but I've never seen this. This is just incredible, beautiful. And now we're going to the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make some fish. Yep. Fish, let's see some fish. Okay, so here in the kitchen, they're cooking so many different things. We have shrimp, we have fish, we have squid ink risotto. They have some other pastas here as well. And here he's weighing the fish to see how much it really weighs so they can mark out how much it costs, right? Yeah. So the price is on pound or, or kilo, no? Kilo? Or kilo. And right here they have a huge pot boiling with basically seafood pieces, right? So like you have shrimp, uh, the shell of shrimp, you have some crab in there, also some herbs, and they use that for the base for pastas. And here the staff is cleaning out the shrimp and the squid. So they have to take off the shrimp, clean out that vein, take off the head. Wow, good food, good food, I love it. We're enjoying the sunset, gonna eat some massive fish feast. You're drinking some corcha beer? Corcha beer. I'm drinking some rakia, my favorite. So here at Biori, they have this fish ice box right here by your table. Let's see it. What do we got? Man, we got prawns, we have squid, we have so many different types of fish. With I think this is the monkfish, right? Monkfish, yeah. Monkfish. We got shrimp here. Mmm, I think this is ours. Let's get that one. That one? That one, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What a monster. Yeah, it's really monster. It looks like a grouper, but grouper. it's different. Is it a grouper? Yeah, grouper. It's a grouper, okay. I really love their beach. Definitely come here early. Come here like at 10 in the morning, have lunch right here. Literally, on the beach, you can eat some delicious seafood. And wow, over there, we have Greece, we have the mountains. Dude, I love this deck. This deck is so awesome. These, this is very, very typical here in the Adriatic Sea, Mediterranean. Whoa! Bro, what a spot. This is Albania. That's the best part of Albania. You have to come here early and go in the water. I'm looking at the water, I'm like, I just want to dive in, but unfortunately I can't right now. And we're starting off with a quinoa salad. Mm, quinoa salad, I think right here we have some little avocados and I think this is mango. Mm. Mm. It's mango, there's still a little heart, and the avocado, super sweet. Yeah, and it also has some walnuts, so it's crunchy, it's refreshing. Oh, and it has some pomegranate right there. Look at that. The food in this country never is bad. Never. I have not had one bad dish in Albania. Not one. Gazor, my friend. Gazor. This is really incredible. Watching this view, those beautiful mountains, the sun setting, that's Albania, there's Greece, we have islands here, we have the beach, and the amazing rakia. Oh, this one's like nice, smooth, not too strong. Okay guys, we have a crudo plate, which basically means raw. This is amazing. We got shrimp, we have octopus, we have like a big shrimp, that's a prawn. It's like, I don't even know. Mm. Oh my god. What fish was that? Whoa. Just oil and lemon. Hmm. And here, this is the best. Eating shrimp like this. Grab by the head, pull the head off, or grab by the tail. So good. Oh my god, guys. I can't even tell you how good this is. Mm. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what fish this is, but it is so tasty. So, grab a little bit, a little bit. Wow. Albanian seafood. I'm not gonna stop with this octopus. Mm. It's so fresh. The oil, the juices, the lemon. Crudo. Crudo all day. God. One more bite of the octopus. So succulent. Next up, we have a seafood pasta 
plate. We have some mussels, some shrimp, and right here, delicious pasta. Mm -hmm. So this is called pasta baguette. Baguette. You mix it with the shrimp. The pasta is al dente. It's like perfect. I love al dente, which is not too soft. Just there. It's a little bit of toughness. Wow. Wow. Grazie mille. Throw one. Of them. So they give you like five of these, and then they also give you two shrimp and two mussels. So go in here and get the mussels, and these mussels come right here, from right here, from the farm. Alright. One of the best seafood pasta dishes I've had. Wow, how fresh it is. Mmm, gazor, gazor, bro. Gazor, gazor. Hey, I had some good seafood in, in Duras, but this is another level. Wow, Albanian wine, the best. And here we have it, the main course, delicious. We have a fish with like a, this looks like a dill, right? And then there we have some rice. Oh man, let me just try this together. Mm. Oh wow, mm. super zesty. So it's like a dill with some lime, and this is like similar to a risotto with some pomegranate on top. So this fish tastes like a flounder, and it has a super creamy, like I said before, like a dill zesty sauce. Yeah, this is good. This is, it's light, it's small, but obviously we had so much food before, you have to eat like a little lighter. I am super full, but it's so good. I'm sure you have never tried this one. This is Raki. Okay, let's see what it is. It's Raki. I don't know, it tastes like herbs. Wild fruit from the forest. Okay, so it has berries. Mm, nice. It has a nice like perfume to it. Oh wow. It's, it's fantastic. This is like almost similar, similar to Jaeger. Jaeger. So this is Raki Albanian 100%. So it's a wild berry rakia. Actually very soft. Nothing compared to like pure grapes. It's good. All right, my friends, we traveled from Giracaste to Salande and we stopped first in the Blue Eye. Blue Eye, yeah, exactly. Amazing spot. If you're ever in this area, go out there, enjoy it, relax, jump in the water. It's really cold, but I'm sure you'll like it. Then after that, we came over here, went straight to Bougainville. Bougainville Bay. Bougainville Bay, the yeah. best resort in Salanda. <laughs> and then after that, we came all the way down here to Samil. Samil, which is the to the best and my favorite restaurant for the seafood, Abiori. Abiori, it's right here, it's amazing. The stuff was amazing, so fast, so so clean, so quick. So yeah. It was perfect. And if you come here early, you can go straight to the water, jump in the ocean and the sea. Yeah. I mean, enjoy your time, sunbathe. I mean, this is just a beautiful spot. The food was so good. I yeah. love every single bite. The and, crudo, the fish. And you can enjoy um, like an unforgettable sunset now. Yeah, I mean, I'm never going to forget this day. Yeah. Never. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below. Subscribe to for more awesome travel content. Remember, when you come to Albania, come straight south. Come to Saranda. Saranda. Samil. And come to Samil and you will love it. Yeah. Peace.